A poll found the majority of Americans approve of sending Congress to Syria. Pope Insanity the 1045th was selected, and Bo Obama received visiting dignitaries from Uruguay. Now for all the news that occurred in this arbitrary period of the Earth's orbit around the sun. This is the Onion Year in Review. This January, guerrilla sales skyrocketed across the nation following the latest in a series of guerrilla attacks, reigniting the national argument on guerrilla control. The incident caused a sharp rise in guerrilla sales across the nation with Americans in states such as Texas, Florida, and Alabama simply saying they never wanted to be helpless to defend themselves from having their arms and faces ripped off by a deranged guerrilla. Meanwhile, the anti-guerrilla lobby still contended that the answer was to have fewer guerrillas, with some arguing that America has already buried far too many feces-covered victims. In March, members of the Supreme Court ruled in favor of gay marriage, saying, quote, yeah, sure, who cares? Sources confirmed the dumbfounded court reportedly stopped proceedings 10 minutes into oral arguments regarding the right of same-sex couples to marry in California, with all nine Supreme Court justices calling the subject a no-brainer and demanding that the court be allowed to move on to something you don't have to be as dumb as dog shit to argue about. Following George Zimmerman's acquittal for the shooting death of Trayvon Martin this July, exhausted and diminished American citizens were unable to do anything but throw their hands up and just tell black teenagers to do their best out there, expressing their sincere wish that the state of things wasn't such that a patrolman could admit to following and shooting an unarmed African-American teen without the slightest consequence, frustrated Americans everywhere urged black teenagers to just be safe, pray, and maybe try to avoid ever being outdoors at all. A study released in September found that average Americans, while ostensibly appearing to be normal and mentally sound in their day-to-day -day lives, descend into a state of extreme psychosis when they are alone at home, citing a spectrum of deranged behavior that included pacing back and forth between rooms for no reason whatsoever, participating in imaginary arguments in an empty room room and making grotesque faces into mirrors for hours at a time. Researchers told reporters that most Americans exhibit symptoms of acute schizophrenia and violent insanity far beyond what any of them were able to predict. <laughs> In science news, NASA announced we will have a mass shooting on the moon by 2055. And a study found wolf attacks are still the leading cause of death in the U.S. In 2013 sports news, Rupert Murdoch, Donald Trump, Idi Amin, and Joseph Stalin all celebrated the heat victory. And a Red Sox fan dedicated the garbage can he was lighting on fire to the Boston Marathon victims. In local news, a rock apparently factored into a girlfriend's shower routine. And sources confirmed that a creepy one-word text message from mom could mean anything. And in this year's op-ed pages, a man urged readers to find the thing they were most passionate about and then do it on nights and weekends for the rest of their lives. And domestic terrorist Jokar Sarnayev realized that when his older brother said, let's bomb the Boston Marathon, he probably should have said no. In other news, a captivated world watched as the royal baby was born. NBC canceled Piven after five seasons, and Nelson Mandela became the first politician to be missed. Another year has come and gone and your only notable accomplishment has been watching this internet news summary video. The Onion applauds your efforts. For more, keep checking theonion.com.